Hi there, and welcome to this session on thinking outside the box as we look at a unique approach to wound management. My name is Ashley Beggerly, and I am a wound ostomy continence nurse and a clinical consultant for Coloplast. I will take you through this session, but we will also be hearing from some other clinicians as well. Dr. Dorothy Doty from Emory University, Dr. Holly Kirkland Kine, the Director of Wound Care at UC Davis, California, Anique Belleville, an NSWOC from Quebec, Canada, and Julie Freiberg, a CWOCN at the Mankato Clinic. Today, we will take some time to go through these topics. The impact of difficult to dress wounds, a unique product solution, and firsthand experience from various wound specialists, as well as multiple case studies demonstrating the clinical and cost benefits of Triad. To get started, let's hear from some of the challenges of difficult to dress wounds, for example, on wet and irregular surfaces, where it can be very difficult to keep a dressing in place. First of all, these wounds require more frequent dressing changes, and this translates into increased patient discomfort, increased nursing time and frustration, increased risk of peri-wound skin damage, and increased cost of supplies. In addition, frequent disruption of the wound dressing can delay wound healing and can expose the wound to contamination, trauma, and loss of the moist wound surface that promotes wound healing. Finally, there's increased risk of peri-wound skin maceration and adhesive-related skin injury. Well, dressings that don't stay in place are the story of our lives over here, especially in the ICU. And again, patients who have, um, you know, that are obese or who have extra skin folds or have had some uh, anatomical places where it just won't stick. And so um, we use a lot of it because each dressing would cost three to five dollars. And if you have to, to um, change it every day or replace it, uh, three different dressings on one irregular wound, that it really works out to be quite expensive. So we, you know, we find that nurses, not only do they have to apply the dressing every day for some of these, uh, these wounds and replace the dressing every day, every time they do that, they have to document on that. And we know that the documentation time takes a lot of time as well. So, um, and I think too, when you use a lot of dressings in areas where um, they don't stick, again, it's, it's a lot of waste and it's, it's difficult to get to those places. So sometimes you may even have to call the lift team just to get someone there to be able to replace their dressings. Well, you want to have a moist wound base and to be able to keep the peri wound skin dry and to keep it from macerating. So, you know, it's very important for migration of the cells for covering those areas, but also for comfort for the patient. Okay, let's summarize that. On wet and irregular surfaces, wound dressings may not always stay in place. This leads to frequent dressing changes and increasing the time it takes for nurses to go back and redress these wounds, as well as the additional cost of applying additional dressings. We have a unique solution. This is Triad. Triad is a hydrophilic wound dressing. It is a sterile coating that offers a unique approach to wound management. I have used this on several different wound types where it was difficult to provide a consistent dressing to stay in place. This provided positive outcomes and allowed my patients to go home sooner versus going to another skilled facility. Triad is very easy to apply. You apply it directly from the tube onto the wound or the peri-wound skin. It adheres to wet and weepy skin and irregular surfaces. It even is able to be used in the presence of incontinence. Triad keeps the wound covered. It also creates a moist wound healing environment which is the number one principle of wound healing. This also promotes that healing process and it will support the debridement using autolysis or autolytic debridement of devitalized tissue. Now let's watch a short triad demonstration video. As we can see here, triad is a hydrophilic wound dressing. 
You simply apply it to the skin. And what we're doing here is we are mimicking a wet surface or a wet wound surface. Applying a thin layer to the thickness of a dime, you can see the application goes on smoothly. That's it, it's easy to apply and easy to remove. With removal, you, utilizing saline or a commercial wound cleanser, gently spray the area, wipe gently, and repeat as necessary to remove triad from the wound bed or the peri-wound skin. Let's hear from other clinicians describe how triad can be used for the four indications that we have for this product. I would say triad is a inexpensive dressing, easy to get, uh, easy to use too, and uh, it's putting humidity in the wound when it's too dry or uh, removing humidity in the wound when it's too there's too much in the wound. Um, it's easy for the care to apply, even if it's for the nurse or if it's for the patient to put in some kind of wound. We have had triad in the outpatient clinic for years. Um, I have recently probably started to use it a little bit more um, because it works. It, there's so many patients that it is beneficial for. Honestly, um, it it is, um, if it's appropriate, I grab it a lot for a lot of reasons, a lot of different patients. But the difference is that it goes where you want it to go and stays where you want it to stay. Most importantly, it maintains a moist wound surface. That means that it provides the surface needed for cell migration and for promotion of wound healing. It also means that triad promotes autolytic debridement, which can be extremely beneficial. Triad offers a unique approach. It can be applied anywhere on the body, it adheres to wet skin, and it keeps the wound covered. The main indications for using triad include wounds on irregular surfaces, broken skin in the presence of incontinence, maceration of the peri-wound skin, and necrotic tissue such as slough and eschar. All right, let's look at the four indications for triad. We will go through them one by one, starting with the first as utilizing triad on wounds with irregular surfaces. This can include areas like the gluteal cleft, but thinking about the head, the face, the groin, and the extremities as difficult to dress areas with irregular surfaces. Here's the first case study I want to share with you. As you can see from the slide, this patient had sacral wounds that had been present for more than two years. All dressings failed due to frequent bloody stools and urinary incontinence. Triad was therefore used with three goals. Number one, protection against urine and stool. Number two, maintenance of a moist wound surface. And number three, support for autolytic debridement. As you can see, by week two, there was significant progress in autolysis, and by week three, there was significant progress in wound healing. And you can see a significant difference in both wounds. So the proximal wound is now filling and healing, and the distal wound is almost completely debrided and also beginning to heal. So it just illustrates the potential benefits of triad both for promotion of wound healing and for promotion of autolytic debridement, in addition to protection against stool and urine. She came to me, she had a, um, she fell off her bike going downhill and had road rash terribly on her arms and on her face. Um, she ended up with some lacerations, was seen in urgent care and then seen in her primary um, provider's office the very next day. So it was within two days of the accident and she was in extreme pain. So they called me and said, can you see her today? Is there any chance you can see her? Um, again, we put the triad on, sent it home with her. I think we saw her within two days and the pain was immediately better. She thanked me that day yet that the pain had felt um, decreased with just that one application of triad. So to me, that's so worth it, so worth it. Now we're going to share some of the user feedback we have received from clinicians all over the country, sharing with us their triad experiences. 
One clinician talked about a patient with necrotizing fasciitis. The necrotizing fasciitis was to the right axilla, extending to the anterior and lateral chest. She mentioned that this location made it very difficult to maintain a negative pressure wound therapy seal. This led to the patient reporting high levels of pain with each dressing change and led to poor oral intake. Triad showed improvement within three days and helped to heal the wound completely within five weeks. The patient was able to tolerate the dressing changes without added pain medicine. This led to very positive outcomes and positive wound healing. Now for the second indication of triad, which is incontinent associated dermatitis or IAD. This is the broken and denuded skin in the presence of incontinence. It's important to note that we recommend skincare products for prevention and triad for treatment of the broken and denuded skin. Triad contains CMC or carboxymethylcellulose, which allows the product to adhere to the wet and weepy skin associated with incontinent associated dermatitis. Here are some great examples of how triad can be used for this indication. I wanted to check on the patient. And so I uh, went back, the patient was sleeping. So I went out to the desk and there were four nurses kind of sitting at the desk. And I asked to talk to uh, the patient's nurse. And I you know, said, I wanna know how his bottom's doing. What can we do be doing? And he immediately said, it is so much better. The nurse said, when we put it on him, he, he does a, ah, and they all did it together. And one nurse said, I just love going in there when we're when they're going to put it on it, because I just like to hear that. And I thought, oh, my goodness. I mean, it really was like, that is incredible. I mean, that's incredible for, you know, a, a kid to go from being in so much pain to really feeling a great sense of relief. The skin was no longer uh, the bright, shiny red. It was healed, intact tissue. You really didn't even, you, there was no denuded tissue. There was no open tissue. It was intact healed tissue and um, amazing to see. And it was not painful for him anymore. I think it was about a week at the longest for it to really be resolved. This had been going on for quite a long time. So it, it resolved it very quickly. What a great story and great to hear how Triad was able to make a difference for this young boy and his parents. It also made a difference for the WOC nurse that was caring for this little boy. Because of the type of wounds that she was tasked to treat, Triad was able to come through and offer a solution where other methods had failed. Another triad experience that was sent into us also talked about triad being used on IAD, showing improvement within days of the first application and allowing the skin to heal in the presence of incontinence, which eliminated the pain the patient was experiencing. Let's move on to another area where triad can make a difference, maceration on periwound skin. Triad is easy to use on larger surfaces and can be used on the wound and the peri-wound skin. CMC allows triad to adhere to macerated skin, keeping it covered and protected from wound exudate. And it contains dimethicone to moisturize the skin, petrolatum and zinc oxide to reduce the skin irritation. Uh, this is a patient who's had a very chronic, um, long-standing venous ulcer on his left lower extremity. He has a history of uh, deep vein thrombosis um, and venous disease. He also has um, a clotting disorder, so he is on a blood thinner for those reasons. Um, has considerable trouble with this left leg. Has had an ulcer on both the lateral and the medial aspect. This medial ulcer has been present for a few months. Triad just works really well for that. The macerated skin, you know, we can clean that peri wound skin, um, clean the triad completely off and see improvement within, usually within one dressing change, honestly.
it's so helpful in uh, it's thick enough to stay in place. It absorbs a little bit of drainage um, and is just a wonderful protectant for the, for the skin. He did not have as much discomfort in the area, so I wasn't as concerned about patient comfort with this wound. It was more about protecting the peri wound skin from the drainage. That was a great example showing how triad can help resolve complications related to wound extrudate getting in contact with the peri wound skin especially in wounds that are already difficult to heal. I would also like to show you this example where Triad was able to resolve peri-wound maceration in a matter of days. In this first photo, this is a 60-year-old male admitted with a wound to the left leg due to lymphedema. There was extensive peri-wound maceration noted. Triad was applied and by day two or 48 hours after using Triad, we can see that the maceration has resolved and the inflammation and redness has also resolved. One of the triad experiences shared through our triad forum talks about a pressure injury with peri wound maceration. The patient had consistent pain and several other solutions had been tried. Within two weeks of using triad, the maceration to the peri wound skin had resolved, leaving only the central pressure ulcer to heal. Okay, let's move on to the last indication I want to talk about today, which is using triad for debridement of necrotic tissue, such as slough or eschar. Triad is hydrophilic, which means that it has natural moisture spreading evenly across the wound surface, maximizing the contact and creating a moist wound healing environment. The moist wound environment in turn facilitates autolytic debridement, where the body's own enzymes break down the necrotic tissue. And as a final step, triad contains CMC, carboxymethylcellulose, which allows triad to absorb low to moderate levels of wound extrudate or broken down tissue. Let's hear from a clinician in Canada and how she uses triad for debridement. Following that, I will share some insights on how triad compares to other debridement solutions. Yes, we were quite surprised with that gentleman because actually uh, we we start with using the triad because it was between the toe and with the we didn't want just to go with the gel, so we try with the triad. And what we were surprised about is it went so well with the triad because the first picture and the second picture we have like two weeks, okay, difference. Okay. Uh, for the wound, but we see we're seeing that it's more clean. But after, because the wound was clean, we tried to stop the triad, but it wasn't healing when we were stopping the triad. So, flying finally, we closed the wound just with the triad. And that one is the one that was going so quick with the triad. I think the first picture and the third picture, it's one week. So, it's just that the nurse. The scab come more soft with the triad, so they were able to remove it with the, the tweezer. Some quick feedback there. And here are a few more examples where Anik used triad for debridement, where you can see improvement that triad was able to achieve. The first is showing triad being used to help facilitate sacral debridement. And here in these next photos, Triad was used to help manage this diabetic foot ulcer, or DFU. So, you know, oftentimes, um, I, I think before we had Triad in, we had honey. And when we would apply the honey, we found that um, we had a lot of maceration around. And uh, the honey, some, depends on what form you're using it in, but the honey had to be replaced either daily or up to three days, but again, it caused a lot of maceration as well. So um, with this, we don't, uh, you put on a, a, a dime thick and change it in three to five uh, days and it works a little faster, we found, uh, less frequent applications, cost efficient, and uh, you know, it's on the shelf. This is actually a um, table that I made that I had to use this table to present to administration to say that this is the return on investment. We want to add this product to what we already have on the shelf at the, at the university. So um, 
you know, we, we knew that it was harder to get the collagenase. It had to be ordered by a physician. Um, and again, the cost, there was quite a bit of cost savings when we went over to the triad. It didn't have to be uh, changed as often. You didn't have actually have to cover it. So if I were to redo this um, table, I would add in the nursing time as well. If you're gonna look at nursing time that would be involved in daily dressing changes, and then every time you do a dressing change, you need to document what you found and what you did. And that's even more time. So just the time savings would have made a big difference as well. And one last example from our triad forum, and thank you again so much for sharing your triad experiences. This case study is about an elderly man with a pressure injury to the coccyx. This patient had frequent loose bowel movements due to tube feedings. His skin is very thin and fragile and at high risk for a medical adhesive related skin injury. He had poor dressing retention due to dementia with agitation. Both Santal and Menahoney were previously used on this wound and improvement was seen within two weeks after switching treatment from Santal to Triad. The stage three pressure injury with adherent wet slough was successfully debrided and Triad had helped facilitate epithelialization, as well as improve the peri wound skin maceration. The quality of life was significantly improved for both the patient as well as the patient's caregiver. There was a reduction in time of dressing changes, lower cost for wound care supplies, and less limitation of activities due to not needing a secondary dressing. Oh, okay, it's time to wrap up. Let's talk about the four indications of triad one last time. Triad is indicated for wounds on irregular surfaces, IAD or broken skin in the presence of incontinence, maceration of the peri wound skin, and for the debridement of necrotic tissue such as slough or eschar. Triad only has four ingredients, CMC that allows it to adhere to wet skin and allows it to absorb low to medium levels of exudate, dimethicone to moisturize the skin, and petrolonum and zinc oxide to reduce skin irritation. Here's a quick reminder on how to apply and remove triad. Always cleanse the wound before applying triad. Triad can be applied directly from the tube or by using a gloved finger. Gently spread triad evenly over the area of application to the thickness of a dime. Because Triad is designed for use on wet and irregular surfaces, it is typically used on its own without a secondary dressing. Triad may not always dry completely and some light staining on bed linens or garments might occur. For wounds with depth, gauze treated with Triad may be used in combination with a secondary dressing. Triad can stay in place for five to seven days with higher exudate levels requiring more frequent reapplications. In the perineal area, reapply Triad after each episode of incontinence. To remove Triad, use a pH balanced wound cleanser such as Sea Cleanse. Use the cleanser to soften Triad, then gently wipe to remove without scrubbing. For complete removal, repeat as needed. There were some helpful hints and tips there. One question that comes up when using triad is can triad be used on neonates? The answer is yes, and is nicely summarized by Dr. Kirkland Kine. Let's take a quick look. Our use of the dressing has been from neonates all the way to the geriatric population. When you're talking about settings, it's been from the hospital to home, nursing homes, and even in the community for our, our homeless patients. So we found a, a wide variety of usage for it. In summary, Triad is a versatile product with some specific indications. If you are interested in more information or sharing your own Triad experiences, please visit www.trytriad.com. We will end this session with some final thoughts and thank you so much for watching. Honestly, I don't know what I would have suggested if we hadn't had the triad because they seem to have tried everything. But it is good for staff to know we now have a product that works and works quickly.
I guess my final thought is that, you know, Triad doesn't do anything that you don't already know about in relation to moist wound healing. It's simply a very different delivery system that can provide success in situations where standard dressings don't work. So it's a great thing to have, to know about, and to think about when you're making decisions about topical therapy for difficult to manage wounds.